Okay, copy. Now, Moscow, can you receive the image now? Yes. You can see the International Space Station smack dab in the middle of your view there as the uh, Soyuz still uh, continuing to close in. So you use craft in view from the International Space Station on its final approach towards the Poisk module. Fidalka, Kelly, and Kornienko inside. Sixty-five point uh, three range rate. Don't have to. Don't. No need. It's fine. Forty-five meters point nineteen meters per second range. So use continuing to close in, closing at uh, under two tenths of a meter per second at this point. Just about to cross uh, the 40 meter threshold. Uh, again, at 41 meters, uh, that core's antenna should be retracting. Another great view of the Soyuz, the station's robotic arm, Canada Arm 2, there in the foreground. Soyuz passing behind. Antenna is closed. Solar rays, beautiful. And getting confirmation the core's antenna has been retracted. The target will be standing by for docking confirmation under 10 meters away. Fine. Coming up on five meters. Inaudible. So there is mechanical contact. Everything is fine. Okay, the guys, congratulations. And contact and capture confirmed. The one year crew has arrived. And uh, coming at 8.33 p.m. Central Time, 8.33 and 41 seconds if you want to get exact. While both vehicles were flying just about 252 statute miles just off the uh, western coast of Columbia. And there we are, you can see. First one through Soyuz Commander Gennady Padalka. His fourth flight now to the International Space Station. Fifth space flight. Padalka set to become the first four-time commander and the all-time record holder for time in space. And there are the two one-year crew members, Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko, saying hello to their crewmates and hello to their home for the next 12 months in space. All crew members now aboard the International Space Station.